Welcome to Stay at Home Connect. I'm Phyllis Jackson. There are now 31 states on the New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey quarantine list. If you're in one of the states seeing an increase in cases, you must now quarantine for 14 days when you arrive. Georgia is on that list. The travel advisory lists states with a seven-day rolling average of positive tests exceeding 10 percent, or if positive cases exceed 10 per 100,000 residents. COVID-19 test results in many states are taking as much as two weeks, in some cases even longer. North Carolina-based Mako Medical partners with Governor Brian Kemp and Georgia's Department of Public Health in the hopes of expanding COVID-19 testing and improving turnaround times. Now, patients on average should receive their results within 48 hours. Officials with the Centers for Disease Control say the COVID-19 case count earlier this year could actually be at least 10 times higher than originally documented. The agency surveyed citizens looking for antibodies to the virus and found elevated numbers of cases across the country. Those antibodies assist researchers in determining just how many infected people either didn't show symptoms or didn't feel their illness was serious enough to see a doctor. The college presidents of Spelman, Morehouse and Clark Atlanta announced virtual learning for the fall semester. Spelman College President Dr. Mary Schmidt Campbell's message to first year students was posted to the school's Twitter page and says in part, quote, we can no longer safely sustain a residential campus and in-person instruction. The DeKalb County Board of Commissioners amend its face mask ordinance requiring face coverings to curb the spread of coronavirus. Residents over the age of eight are required to wear a mask in public. DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurmond says the ordinance is consistent with the governor's executive order. First-time violators will receive a written warning. Those who violate the ordinance a second time will be required to attend virtual or in-person COVID-19 prevention classes. Those failing to take the class will be fined $250. Close your eyes. Perfect. Talk about getting creative. Yes, these ladies are getting highlights and other hair services outside. California Governor Gavin Newsom recently modified the COVID-19 guidelines for hair and nail salons, allowing them to conduct outdoor operations. The updated standards allow for services under a tent, canopy or other shelter, as long as no more than one side is closed to allow for sufficient air movement. Many companies are adjusting protocols as health officials press indoor air circulation can spread the virus. Atlanta City Council member Marcy Collier Overstreet joins with National Church Residences, the Family Health Centers of Georgia, local leaders and businesses to provide COVID-19 testing. This testing is for people with or without symptoms of the virus. The event at the Andrew and Walter Young Family YMCA is free and you can drive through or walk up. Pre-registration is not required, but encouraged. For more information, you can go to covid.fhcga.org or call 800-935-6721. That's it for Stay at Home Connect. Have a great night.